everyone fit begin here and it's time for a little bit of a special tier list um i have a guest with me i have a guest with me i said Uh, the microphone hates me, but it's nostalgia, nostalgia. How is everyone doing? Uh, we are recording this again because now we don't have anything to do. Wait, what? Can I be heard now? Yes. So what's going on? I don't know. Um, so today we're going to be ranking all of the Double Dare seasons. Because there's no official tier list thing, I'm just including, I just chose photos from each episode, the highest scores. Okay, 2000B, I don't know what the highest score is because I have a footage missing, and 2018, the second season, uh, the one site hates me, so we're just going to do whatever we can. Uh, right, so we got our... There we go. So we're going to be ranking these based on a couple things, based on like the win rates, the money, how good the teams were, the obstacles, stuff like that. So we're going to start with the first season, 1986. And just a reminder, this has 70 episodes, not just 65. We finally confirmed that after, after 32 years. Yeah, there are a couple episodes that are missing. One of which is Extraordinary vs. Challengers, which is incomplete. And then there's, I think, two or three other ones that are missing. Uh, can I still be heard? Sorry, Vaughn's messaging me about something. He said that... I had to message him back. Yeah, the wacky video I did for the Brain Banners, I said all 42, because, as we know, there's 45 episodes, but only 42 technically got released. Yeah, we don't know why that was, but well, we know, those, but we you know, know... Because of an interview, but well, that's for a different video on game shows, so... We uh, just as a side note, two double... Two double their episodes never air due to injuries. Yeah, we're not counting those up. We're not sure if they're from this season. Yeah, we do plan on doing a tier list for like different seasons of other game shows, but we feel like Double Dare should get its own video. Because it's, while the other shows it's got, well like, over maybe, a dozen. Yeah, well the other shows got like five at most, this is like fourteen. So start off with the first I'm using uh, this as a guide, so we're not starting off too bad. Also, yeah, Rares versus Match is like episode 30 something, but it's classified as two for some reason. Because so they doing... didn't like how the pilot turned out. They it was it had so much trouble filming. It took like five hours, I think. Yeah, um So we're starting off good. Literally the first like third and fourth episode, we already have some break four hundred. We're doing good. We we have our first uh bad run, which is the Sunday slide, which I mean, back then, it's whatever. We have our first win here on episode 10. Yeah, another win. The unknown. And then... Then then we have the cursed week. Good Cur lord. Yeah, that cursed session and beamers. We finally found that after all those years. But it was not really worth it. Yeah, and then we have the record, ironically, the same day. Yep. You'll notice a couple other people. Uh, so, for those who see my house minimums video, uh, early, like, if a team only got 50 bucks or 40 bucks, that's all they got. They didn't get it bumped up at all. We have an R3. This was actually the first sewer shoot episode, so that's understandable. More wins. Uh, we have a 490, which was a high score. Uh, this episode, the was actually the Pinheads versus Whippets. This was the first episode to introduce a house minimum, which was originally 50 bucks. And then after the Apaches episode, which was just the biggest domination ever, which was near the end of the season, they said, okay, we're going to give you 100 bucks. Uh, an issue, as you'll notice here, this was actually the last episode to have a win, because the last, like, 10 had none. 
You know some common problems with the frickin' flagpole and the treasure. It's kind of the same things, and you know a lot of yeah. And at, and at least, no at least for the last session, they put at least for the last taping session for the flagpole, they put it directly on the pole instead of the clothesline. You also notice like some routes have twenty questions. We have some pretty smart teams, and y'all. And there's like four challenges in a round. Uh, the win rate for this. What's up, real quick? Again, we're in. We don't know about lost episodes. What they are. We already know extraordinaries is not. Uh, twenty point nine. We already know extraordinaries is not a win, which has been confirmed. We were so glad Terminators and Falcons was a win. And that was the only time they won where the tank was number seven. I was otherwise cursed. Uh, so we record this. Uh, we put this in B, right? Yep. And just just to remind you guys, in t last year we found two episodes, which were Beavers and Navigators and uh, Fa uh, Falcons and Terminators, 19 and 38 respectively, but... We had a lot more fun with episode 38. Yeah, 38 got removed from YouTube. I still have it in my collection. I, I thought it was completely justified for Matt, didn't you? Yeah, it was because an episode... Because Mark Callan a question is wrong when it was supposed to be right, and then instead of just cutting it, they just said, whatever. Yeah, and we even found the exact air date, October 30th, 86. Yep. Uh, next we have the second season. Uh, things got a lot better. You'll notice literally the first four episodes, out of the first four episodes, we had three wins. Uh, on episode six, we already had the highest score, which is 470. Uh, this disqualification was because the team didn't sit on the bike for Icy Trek, because they changed the rules of that. A couple other wins. Like, it literally took, like, a third, like, 11 or 12 episodes to literally get our first below fo below par. Yeah, they really want, they really yeah. like these specials. Now 420, yeah. now 420, 440. Yeah, so there's, the weird yeah, thing there's... is with the season, there's only, um, I believe three episodes where teams got below got half or less, which were radioactive beanstalks where they fell off the things multiple times, the monkey bars, but the front game is good. The Terminators, which were just due to terrible luck. Also, real good game. Also, this team won the freaking computer. I don't care what they said. They got it at the freaking buzzer. Yeah. Well, to be, to be honest, was a computer really better than a Disney trip? Is it? It's better than an Indy Racer. Yeah, that's true. To be honest, those indie racers probably ha require so much fuel and barely go as far as as fast as twenty five. Yeah, and then this one for this one, the only three. Uh, the Sunday there was an issue with the sewer shoot where the fly got stuck. Um, but because this delayed the team, they decided to give him the fourth prize out of it. To be fair, and this was just due to terrible luck. So you'll notice we had a four ten. Uh, the guest, which was a good episode because the team literally, they showed them in the, for the Harvey's Wild Oats on the tape. We had a, a taping session, which was six. That was tough. Yeah, and then the final one, they would have won if they, the drawbridge wasn't a pain because the kid literally ran Ludl through. I don't know if I can show this. Let me try to. Just real quick. But interestingly, direct. It's a interestingly. Oh, I can oh, I can show some clips. I don't know if this gets blocked. Then forgive me. Interestingly, though, that we have the master tape of the episode before, and they got so lucky when they ripped open the cannoli, even though they didn't oh, have, have to, to do that. I need to find oh, it. Oh, please tell me we're still. Are we still on? Yeah, I need to show the clips real quick. Because I'll show the mistakes on this. Okay, get your feet in the right place. Reach for that flag over here into the slime canal. 
Oh wait, that's the wait, that's the, that's the wrong episode, Juan. Let me find it. Which one is it? Oh hey, Dex is here. Oh he he lurked. He saw he's like double there. He's like nope. Okay, right up here. Yeah, see? Right up here. Okay. Yeah, she thought she had to go all of them on a perfect try. Go ahead. Wipe your hands and then okay, they just right dropped off, dropped off. Keep going, keep going. 19 seconds. Nice shot. Grab the flag. Grab it. Pass it on. Okay, way to go. Number five. Take your time going up there, James. 12 seconds left. All right, I'm the old Sunday slide. Yeah, they weren't going to get the Sunday slide anyway. And what is... Yeah, this is the mistake they had with the sewer shoot. It's kind of nice of them. It's on your mark, get set, go! Just as a side note, uh, for our report, uh, season one was filmed in late September to mid-October, uh, 1986, and 87 was filmed in January through February. Yeah, I see, we always, I see why they changed the sewer shoot, but this was yeah, so probably also due to the injury. Mark, they each get the Garfield phone, the Toys R Us gift certificate, the Bushnell product, a prize package worth over $300 each. Okay, that flag is coming down. I believe that's the first time that ever happened, so I'm going to take this one off, and you're going to get the fourth prize as well. We're going to add that to your winnings. You had a great run. We hope you had a good time on Double Dare. I know we did. And then what was the... Oh, I need to show this. This was the one fail. Harvey's died. Up right over here into this little thing, okay? And then over here. Go on, Harvey, go on! <laughs> Gee, I'm my best rock star, we choose. Hey, oh. <laughs> yeah, and of course, Mark did is... that a few times. Oh, that's the. Which one is this? What is it? Oh, that's. Conf... I can't show that. Oh, yeah, that's the one that got me clocked, too. It's the drawbridge one. I'm trying to figure out which one. No, that's the other one. I'm so glad that they changed the drawbridge for 1988. I mean, it's a lot more fun that way. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's 20. If he yeah, for, I like, mean, you had to give him the prize for that. It. If he would have had it. I mean, there are so many obstacles that slowed him down, but they could have gotten easy wins. But we'll talk about them later. Yeah, and this season had a 30. Well, should I put 21 down, I guess, for wins? Yeah, because it turns out when we reviewed promos for the show, there's one hamster wheel win with two seconds left that hasn't been released Which yet. Which one was it? Where was it in between? So it was episode to... 92, according to Vahan. And I'm trying to figure out which one that is. In the order. Let me pull it up real quick. It is... Up. It is in between. It is after the dragons one, so it is. Wait, what the heck? This is in such a weird order. I don't. Okay. There we go. I'll just do that real quick. Fix it. Thirty-one point eight. Then that goes above. Seven. Uh, hopefully sure we're going to get those found one day. Oh, what the hell? Let's try that again. What happened? I tried pacing and it became a mess. God damn. Ah! Jesus freaking Christ. Okay, why is he doing that? Is he a dick? I don't know. There we go. Now we're beating it. Now we can go. So, huge improvement on the second season. The first season, we put this nest here, right? Yeah, I believe, I'll just show I believe we actually... My, yeah, I I be there are a couple good episodes that have I think losses. We put it Dude, my god, I'm gonna freaking bury him in a minute. I'm gonna kick him out of the damn server in a minute, I swear to god. Do you want to do on the Nick? Oh, he's on the Nick S server too. God damn it. Like, we had some good episodes. The issue was that 
they didn't win. And then we also had teams like the freaking water bugs and stuff where it's like, hey, you won like no challenges, but you got pity money, so you won the show. It's like, did you really win? Which, yeah, that's going to become a problem later on. Which I'll bring up. Uh, I'm going to freaking right, okay. take him in a minute. Yeah, I'm going to take better care idea. of this. Damn, there's no other place we can do this, though. It sucks. Because he's in the okay, gas so... too. So 87 was a pretty awesome season. Yeah, I think it's a huge improvement. It's probably one of my favorite seasons, honestly. All right, next we're going to get to... I'm going to freaking kill him. Wait, I know what to do. Or he's been... He's been timed out. Thank you. Um. Thank you. Yeah, the student okay, so... might be my favorite because they got eighteen questions. They didn't get any pity money, but they just got screwed because the freaking. Even though they got the thing on the top buzzer, they didn't give it to them. But uh, I really, but I really like that that other obstacle course when I used in my compilation. It had it was no search obstacles. It was a. Uh... It was a furrs, and they got everything pretty easily. I mean, especially that Sunday slide. Really had, love that. The only search obstacle we really had was the buried treasure, which tripped a couple teams up, but that was about it. And I think a couple times the blue plate special. That was its first appearance, so that kind of justifies. But now we're going to move on to a kind of obscure season. So, 87B. Yeah, a lot of people think that Super Sloppy Double Dare was 89, but there was a season in between, I think it was like mid-87, or late-87, it was Super Sloppy Double Dare. This was shot in New York instead of Philly, and it was kind of like, the, it was different compared to the other ones, because this was the last season I have the two red teams. Um, For the physical challenges, it someone complete if they would Mark would pick a name and then we get a etch a sketch. If they didn't they would just get a t shirt. And, and interestingly this is the first season of any episodes to be posted on pay per view, but I don't really know why they chose this one. I don't know either. Yeah, I had to remind uh Dave I said for your safety don't upload the eighty seven stuff. Yeah, so you'll notice this season starts up crappy. Like, we literally have so many Sunday slide screw-ups within, like, the first, like, five, ep six episodes. We don't even get a win until very, like, episode nine or ten. Yeah, incidentally, the sewer shoe is completely absent from the season, but I argue this is due to the broken mind. neck thing. Yeah, and I want to show this. So, there were specials originally in... Are we still recording? Yes, okay. Oops. There were specials before, like the Christmas, the Halloween, uh, there was a back to school special. So they try to do theme shows. The first one was Miami Vice, and you can literally just tell this was literally thought of like five minutes before they started shooting. I'll show a footage of this. This is the intro. Apologies for the bad quality. Here's your super sloppy double dare host. Yeah, they were passive aggressive about this. Thanks, Harvey. Yeah, tie your shoes. Sure, why not? Hi, pal. <laughs> Listen now, about that physical challenge you just saw where they made him take the shoes and the socks and do all that kind of stuff and this pink jacket. Let me explain about this thing. Now, the other day, our staff went out and they bought uh, some clothes. They were looking for clothes. And by the way, I have nothing to do with uh, the buying of the clothes, which is exactly why I look the same every day. And uh, they found this pink jacket, cost them 20 bucks, and they had to justify uh, a program. So we're going to do a special today here on Double Dare. We're going to do a Miami Vice special. Timely, aren't we, huh? Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, they basically just said we need... Yeah, it was literally fall of the last minute, which unfortunately... Um, makes it really stupid. Oh, damn it, I forgot to play the thing at the end again. That's the second time I forgot to do that. Wait, we're... Sh then what's... If we're still recording, what's the... Oh, this. Little Harvey's thing is up again. Package worth over twenty-seven hundred dollars each. See the free pair of Reebok sneakers or promotional considerations. Bosco, WSA. This is your announcer, Harvey Zane. Join us back here next time, and we'll see what other dumb idea the producer comes up with for a theme show right here on WSA.
Yeah, like they literally had no. They literally just planned this last minute. A warning. Yep. Yeah, we had following our fast run. Uh, my third episode. Oh, when it's a buzzer, that's the pie face. Yeah. Uh, our only like for the season, it was because sucking at the Sunday slide. Uh, our first celebrity episode was this season. And it wasn't like the other ones where it's like they're playing with like a kid or something. It's uh, like a family member. Because I know because they did that on I believe Family Feud. It was they had like celebrities from the show and then they had like John Stamos and his family on there. They had like the people's real family on there so uh, only six wins this season, sadly, and sadly the most common number was five out of five out eight. of eight. We're still missing an and... episode. There's a man in a boat, which I don't think is a win. Yeah, the highest score was three eighty. There's also a seven fifty episode. We're... We we're not counting it. That's recording some log, but. Has, for some reason, has never been released. Maybe it was too controversial for the team. I don't know. Yeah, because the only reason we know about this is there was a game booklet that said the things. Yeah, and I chose the. Was it Mark himself who quoted it, or or was it Jeffrey? I'm not sure. It was in a game book somewhere. We said this in C tier, right? Yeah, I like because it season. honestly like is kind of forgettable. I like what this season did. Like, if Super Sloppy Double Dare Fair in New York did extended versions, I would like it. But unfortunately, it's just. That. Now we're going to. Yeah. Yeah, it was only 26, it. not the 40. Yeah. Not the, It was not 40 episodes. People thought they were damaged via water, but that's not the case. No flood warpage. Uh, now we're going to get to the thing that rec this recording stopped at last time, which is EDA, or as I like to call it, syndication. Uh, the season is, I believe, is actually the lowest win rate, with only 19%, with 12 teams winning. Uh, there were 19 sevens and sixes. Uh, do you want to start off on the season? Yeah, basically, in in January 1988, they started filming a deal with, with uh, Fox stations that they would actually be going not to, to Nickelodeon directly, but local stations, a syndication. So instead of 24 minutes, we're now giving 21 and three quarters minutes of full episodes. Yeah, and, and as a result, uh, right ahead. Uh, so there is an issue. Uh, so a couple things you don't know is, is I'll get to the episode when we get to it, but there were a couple issues you'll notice. So so we had a lot of, we did have a lot of rounds with no physical challenges. There was actually an entire episode with no physical challenges, which that reaction's not online, but I included in my very moments video. You'll notice there's a ton of episodes that have no physical challenges, most of the early ones. Uh, this, there's also, again, you'll notice an issue is there's episodes where they literally do like one question and a physical challenge in round two, and then that's it. The show ends. So literally because, because instead of 16 minutes, it would end at 14 minutes, making it round two barely super freaking short. So basically, you can be in the lead, but because someone wins a physical challenge round two, it's like, well, congratulations, whoever wins round two. Uh, this is also, unfortunately, the start of where we saw a bunch of search obstacles. Like, I'll show, we have a three because of the hourglass, Granny's Attic. This was the... No physical challenge. Uh, I guess another stat I want to bring up. Out of these, how many is there? Like 60-something episodes? We're 60. Yeah, there are 65 in the first batch, Bo, I believe. Let me quickly check how many of the first half are missing. Uh, we're missing about three of them. Okay, so, to my knowledge, I count this. Out of those episodes, only nine teams managed to break the 300-point barrier. That's probably eight, honestly. Uh, eight teams got bumped up to 100 bucks, and unfortunately this season, nine teams finished under 200 bucks, which is sad because you think 
on a game show because you're spoiling the money if you're winning less than a hundred bucks each. Yeah, that's a problem. And considering that Finders Keepers was airing at this time, uh, where most of the losing totals were there like five hundred bucks. Yeah, you can't really compete with that. And we also had a bunch of issues where like teams will win, do like the bare minimum and win. Like, let me find some episodes. Like, we had some smart teams. Like Maroon Canaries had eighteen, Master Times twelve. Like, like Mustachios won two challenges. There were teams who won like barely did anything and won. To my research, there were at least six teams who got like two a couple hundred bucks didn't do anything. A lot of teams did better, question-wise, didn't win. And, yeah, more Hourglass stuff. And then, uh, Barry and Treasure, then I will, yeah. Uh, first under $200 episode, which sucks. This is the Goldbergs episode. I think this episode in particular is the first round where it's like, we do one challenge, and then that team, they didn't complete the challenge, the other team won. It just became that thing. And, and this kind of begs the question for me, if both teams are under 100 by the end of the game, just like, I'm pretty sure the highest team, they both get raised to the 100, but originally the highest team goes to the obstacle course. Yeah, that has never happened, though. Thank God. I think the lowest for finders keepers, because you know how they play out of 1,000 bucks, but like, if you don't yeah. get something in the first round, you lose 75, or like, a, you lose 175. I think the lowest yeah. was 325 to 325. Oh, wow. Uh, speaking of, we have the worst episode in stats ever, because let me describe this episode in a nutshell. Okay, so the Fluffernairs get the toss-up, I get 20 bucks. They miss a question. The other team goes, does a figure challenge, screws it up. Our team gets 40 bucks. Uh, Fluffernurse get a question right that gives them 70. They do a challenge, mess it up. The red team does a challenge, messes it up. Round two ends. Uh, the blue team wins. Sorry, round one ends. Uh, the blue team gets the toss up, fails the challenge. The red team gets the money, round ends. So basically, not going toss ups, $10 was won. Legit, that is it. And there's that ain't, several other that ain't episodes cool. that barely have under a hundred bucks. Like one episode only has forty. A couple episodes have a couple under hundred bucks. Have some wins. Uh, we have the curse week where they're the only one team won because the freaking hourglass. Another four. Yeah, you'll notice a bunch of under 100s are near the end of the season. Uh, this is the only time we really had Pickett be an issue. This season. You didn't notice near the end of the season a lot of the stuff. This is actually the the highest score, which is 360, which is... I think in our stats, actually the lowest winning total uh, for high scores. Uh, behind the New York one that we have footage of. So, this season's okay, it's just that syndication kind of screws it up. There's certain good episodes, certain bad ones, but it's like, just real quick. Yeah, there's certain good episodes, like, literally in my top then five I, winners, I could only pick four episodes. And, but then I believe the same episode as the Pick a Painful Loss, the other team would have tied up the score, but they knocked over the cup at the last second. Yeah, they would have had, I think, 170. And the other team had... No, I think they actually would have won, because they had 170. The other team had, like... Did they win the top? No, they didn't win the top. But let's be honest. If Mark had knocked it over instead, they would have gotten the money. If Mark had knocked it over by accident, they would have been richer. Yeah. Where do you want to put this? Because it's like... My issue with the season, of course, is the low scores, but we'll get to that later, but still, where would you put this? I would say C or D. Uh, yes. Uh, C for you. It, it has potential, but it's... But cutting off two, two over two minutes just ruins the fun. 
we put it below or above or below New York? I'd say just above because that's when the show was starting to really capitalize on its peak. Oh, wait, what the hell? This is screwed. What that? That doesn't see. I'm trying to fix this. Sorry. This rabbit, we don't have a real tier list, folks. We have to do what we can. There we go. Uh, next, we get to a better season, which is the second half. I know Fox is first. We're doing this in order because why not? So, uh, 88B um, surprisingly actually did better in wins. They had, let me find it, they had a pretty good record with literally 27% win rate. Yeah, that was they had a they had a lot more enthusiasm with this season too. Yeah, there was a lot more it, better episodes. We didn't have as many. We had again our hourglass thing, which that's it's normal at this point. Uh, we had some and good episodes like this one. The teams did well. Uh, and our bad one. This is probably my favorite episode because it's a perfect show and also. Literally, as you can see, this team had 20 bucks. They literally almost won. And I think I did the math. This is actually the highest in terms of money one on the show uh, combined. Uh, another good episode. You know, notice a lot more hundreds of uh, 300s because in comparison this season, it is... Let me check. There is... 11 over 100, 8 uh, bumped up, and 9 less than 200, so it got better. Uh, unfortunately, we get the 3D episode, which I like to point isn't terrible despite the low totals. It's just that Pickett screwed the team over because they were actually doing pretty good. Uh, this was a win because of a, a freaking shoelace. Uh, the Hollywood Square special kind of sucked because literally the intro was like five and a half minutes. Yeah, and that, but that's Nurse the same episode as the crap. grape stomping disaster, right? Yeah, nurse syndication thing. This is still my favorite. So the Vulcans is probably my, like these two episodes are probably the best in that taping day. Yeah. Because like the Vulcans they... literally, um, because this was literally the first time someone broke 400 points. Since like New and then York. Mark Mark Lampshade on that, yeah and he... yeah and I need a I'll play the clip on that. Let me because I do love this episode. I'll show the oh okay out of the blues is what it's called. Okay, I showed this clip on the video, so we should be fine. On your and mark. responded by James. O now if I'm Okay, if yes, I'm not dollars, mistaken, this was filmed in, I think, the summer of 88. Yep. Yeah, early here's, summer. Here's still my favorite line from the episode. Uh, is it what not was... showing on the screen? <laughs> I still see the stats. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Here we go, sorry. There we go. 90. What was... <laughs> that was our executive producer who realizes that we may be over budget now if this man continues. Uh... <laughs> What was President Hoover's first name? Herbert. Yes, and add another $20. <laughs> uh, well, that sound means it's the end of the game, and with $410, the Vulcans have won today's game on Double Dare. Congratulations. Well, you get a trip to the Double Dare obstacle course, and you also get to pay for the coronary bypass operation for Jeffrey Darby. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you go to the obstacle course. And this was actually the... We'll cut to this in a second. Uh, we had Celebrity Week, which went decent. Co okay, so we had three weeks. We had Jerry, whatever his name is, and Josie Davis. Um, with the exception of the last episode, the shows went pretty well. Um, minus the picket disaster, which is freaking rigged, because they clearly did not put the flag in. And literally, wasn't it directly before there was the win? Yep. And then the episode immediately after that, we had both teams get a tie score. 
Unfortunately, it didn't matter because both teams were going to run the course anyway. But yeah, they still did pretty well. Well, uh, the Jeremy Miller versus like we, Jeremy Miller like for people who can see on the screen, literally every single freaking week episode had an issue with something. And also, the stats are abysmal. Like, I would say, so when I do the money is legit money earned, meaning they got the money by answering stuff correctly or the questions, not a pity from the challenge losses. Uh, Celebrity Week 1, there was $1,140 earned legit, 42 correct questions, and the challenges were 5 and 6. Celebrity Week 2, there was 650, 25. Guess what the challenge record is? I just tell me. Three wins, 14 losses. Crazy, I in know. Every, in the win rate, I want to say, for money earned, episode 1, 80 bucks, episode 2, 80 bucks, episode 3, 150, episode 4, 110, episode 5, 230. Like, literally, like, half the money wasn't even earned legit this season. And then... The final week, we did have two issues. Um, we did have a win. This was probably the best week. Uh, challenges were 8 and 5. Highest earned with 12, 20, 37 questions. And I want to show this. This is actually the, the uh, highest score ever earned on Syndication Governor. This includes... Um, this also includes Philly and Orlando Super Sloppy Doubleter. I don't believe it. Scott, you're amazing. You are amazing. I think this is one of the highest dollar amounts we've ever had on this program. $440. And that sound means it's the end of the game. And with $440, the Eagles have won today's game of Double Dare. Scott, this will be very good news for you. You don't have to split that money. You get the full $440, which ought to make you very happy. Yeah. Uh, yes, I figured it would. Uh, I'm getting a call right now. Give me a second. Okay, let me know when you restart. Okay, we're good. Um, sorry about that, folks. Yeah, so this third celebrity week was actually um really good, I'd say, because in my when I included like my favorite episodes, I included the finale on the list. Um, I just stopped recording again. No, no, I didn't. Okay, we're good. Still on. Yeah, we're good. I was okay, under my mic. Uh, for my favorite losing episodes, I put uh, one episode is actually low score. I even put the ironically enough, I put the 3D episode on here because it was the end game. Uh, for bad episodes, I put digital jitters. I literally put for number three. I said I should just this should just include the entire second week because this entire week is just trash. Like, literally the entire second celebrity week was trash. The third... Now, you know the best way to describe this, honestly? Uh, elaborate. The best way to describe this celebrity weeks is, like, the special weeks of brain surge. Not even joking. The first week is basically, like, I guess the Nick stars, bec because everything was good, except you just had one extremely terrible uh, episode. Or you could say co-host, either or. Um, the second week is basically family week because most of the episodes were complete trash. And even the episodes that weren't terrible, the wins weren't great. And then the final one you could probably say is like... Boys versus girls are like the co-hosts or Nick stars or something. Yeah, it's very weird. The funny thing, the weird thing is for the Finders Keepers episodes, because you know how there's two celebrity weeks. Yep. Uh, the one celebrity, the one episode, there's literally a perfect game, but all the items found. One team makes a comeback, it's really close, and it's good. The second week is basically the opposite, where they find like two items. It's so it's really like night and day. So we have a good amount of questions on here. The Vulcans do very well. Get. 
14 questions. I and, I, and, just, and interestingly, one of the one of the episodes was withheld from gas because it was outdated due to a Trix question as Trix was a common Nickelodeon sponsor as they changed the color of their, their cereal three years after the episode. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of putting the season in B tier maybe because I feel like it's a huge improvement over the freaking last season. I think so as well. Or we could put an A tier again. You can choose your. I think high B. Okay. Yeah, and I chose the celebrity episode on the. This is going to be a pain in the neck to do. There we go. Looks good. And then next we have the. Should we do Fox or should we do the syndicate and then move on to Fox? No, it's right here, so we got to do it. So Fox Family Doubleter is probably, in my opinion, this is going to sound make no sense, but it's kind of like the Upside Down show, how it's really good in concept. It just got um, very, massively screwed by the network. Yes, it, it, was, it, it was made for an older demographic, arguably. It appealed more to them, and that's why it was more engaging. Okay, not only does the win rate on the sh thing really be more, almost half. Like, I need to show, like, this entire thing. Like, first episode, win with nine seconds. Uh, seven. Seven. Another seven, another seven. This team got the freaking thing. But they got screwed. Yeah, they slipped off the Empire State Building. Uh, really high score. An R7, a win, a win. This was basically like a freaking shutout episode because the only thing they lost was the one challenge. Uh, only bad episode with Pickett. Another win, an R win, the record. And of course the finale sucked because Pickett, they just got screwed on Pickett. But the win rate is six wins, four sevens, two sixes, and a four. So that's basically really good. Like, even though this has syndication rules, I still like it. It was 23 it minutes, works. exactly. Yeah, because... Like, brain well, search would be. To explain the obstacle course, but, like, I like this because... Prize 6 was almost always a trip, 7 was a cash prize, and then 8 was a car. And unlike the Family Double Dare 90, they didn't rig it, so it's like we can only have, like, 8 winners. Like, this had six winners, and there's only 13 episodes. Which the thing is, it was due to the partnership with Fox, because they were able to invest more money into it. And But I realized something. Fox, common Fox, Fox game shows commonly are, at most, 15 episodes per season, so it wasn't that unusual. But yeah, yeah so, I kind of wish we did get more of this. Yeah, so something Mark actually brought up is, for those who saw those, who know those, like, VHS tapes, like the behind the scenes stuff that was actually filmed i think in the studio because they couldn't use the set like they literally couldn't use it for because the show got canceled so they just used the set because on the tape 88a is the newest season in the in the video because mm -hmm. i know family doubled our the party one how to throw a party, that was when Orlando was being filmed, because they show a clip of where Orlando Mark is watching, and then they have contestants from the Orlando show on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to put this in S tier, if that's okay with you. Yes. Yeah, I was thinking so, too. We got bad treatment. I'm going to put it below 87, because it would be higher if it got more episodes. But, but didn't race, but isn't it what race says Quality over quantity. Yeah, that's true. So I honestly think it is very S tier. And and just just a reminder, due to the Fox licensing, this this season was never put on gas, but it, but most of the episodes are on iTunes. Yeah, except the last two. Um, the Fishers I do have a copy of. It's a VHS copy. It's on. A tape, a DVD I have, and the last episode I'm not gonna bother with. I know Dave has all the episodes, but I'm not gonna bother. And now we get to, in my opinion, probably the worst season, which is Super Sloppy Double Philadelphia. 
this did air on Nickelodeon, right? Yeah, after I believe four months. Oh, I thought the Fox. I I thought it would just didn't air on Fox anymore. It's this these seasons are still syndication. It was both eighty eight and eighty nine. Eighty nine was a uh, more sporadic. Yeah, so we start off okay. We have a good football special. So this is when they start to do special episodes. Um, next we have, in probably my opinion, one of the worst episodes because the red team basically did all the work. I think the blue team won one challenge, and then they just won because of freaking pity. Like they, like I have it in my notes. They won one challenge, and that was it. They literally just got all their money from just pity. Which, yeah, I hate that. We're gonna check. This isn't. This is the only season we don't have in like actual taping order because we don't know it. But yeah, but we. This is but we season. know. Uh, messy brain freaks is the one as directly stated by Mark. Yeah, that's like the worst episode they could have aired first. It was second, as you can see. Yeah. Uh. Now this is where we introduce crappy search obstacles. So we have the dog food. They try to do a Groundhog Day special, my uh, Lucy special. Also, I I got flack for putting this in my video. I know they didn't quote unquote cheap, but they just gave them the fries. So take that with a grain of salt, if you will. And then there's the other one. Third one. This is still my favorite episode because the team was smart and they actually came close to getting all the prizes. So, yeah, you also know but those obstacles were spread so far apart. In fact, the studio was arguably the largest one out of all the double theirs. Um, we have these these huge. stoop the worst freaking thing because the stupid toothpaste, which is probably if, for those who saw our tier this video, it's probably one of the worst obstacles in existence. Like, it's so wasteful, both literally and figuratively. Yeah, there's only 25... Okay, there's a 25% win rate, but I'll explain the issue with the season in a minute. Uh, This team actually came back and won. Unfortunately, the comment is gone because Nick Gas's channel got taken down. We saved it, but... Uh, we had a celebrity episode for charity. Uh, This is the episode that Mark and Harvey played. Uh, it's still a good episode, though. I like it. Even though Mark got even proved that the syndication was stupid because he was literally down like 60 to 130, won a challenge, and then he won the show. So it even showed that there was an issue with the show. Also, Jim J. Bulk did a good job at announcing. <laughs> Present state thing. The episode you upload where the team, again, did absolutely nothing and won. Let me actually see what the lowest is. Okay, Slapa made a 2 at 50. Cosmic Songs at 70. Legit, this was 80. Okay. Uh, this episode never re-ran on gas. The Grease Lightning. A uh, Grease Thunder. Ironically, the record because of a physical challenge mishap. Uh, this one had Al Silvers in it. Yep, yep. Yeah, it was a special change because Mark explained the issue directly, so I think it should have been safe. Oh, this one had uh, Al Silvers in it. Yeah, that was a cool one. Silverberg. Uh, then we have the Make a Wish duo. Yep. Um, this this is still. Bless you. This one's actually they screw up on the Sunday slide, but this team. We, when Mark refers to, we had a team with zero dollars come back and win. He was referring to this episode. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, uh, this is the highest score, which is three ninety. Yeah, also, I made a mistake in my video. This team actually did get 300. Uh, the issue with... I'll explain the issue with this season in a minute. Like, this team really did nothing around round two and one. Bone Time Stay episode. This episode could have aired, but Mark's an idiot. I'm like, I have a great idea. Let's dox our producer. Yeah, and... <laughs> Yeah, they're like, they probably could have still read his lips with the bleep. That's why they had to withhold it. 
Yeah, a lot of episodes with one physical challenge. And, okay, for people wonder why I hate the season, out of the 55 episodes, only six teams managed to break 300 bucks. And only one of those teams ended up winning. Which, yeah, again, I'd like to point out, you know, Think Fast didn't air yet. That's in Orlando. Never mind. That was... Yeah, th yeah this is a... They filmed this in January and February 1989. Yeah, Think Fast We actually, day. thank God we have some of the tape dates, but sadly we don't know the order. We know, I think, the first three sessions, right? Yeah, because I know the first half had free consolation prize, the second half had two. Yeah, yeah, I believe the first three sessions are the football special, and then then there was the Groundhog Day cursed one, and then it. Oh wait, wait, yeah, I'm thinking. Oh, I'm... Messy Brain Freaks was up the first session. Uh, okay, B I said was Groundhog Day. Then C was the football special, and then D it's either the Doggy Door fail or the Sunday Slide fail. Yeah, I'm gonna get flack for this, but I'm playing this in F tier because. The season's kind of ad, but again, the low money and just the constant search obstacles just made the season awful. Like, let me just do a quick check. What do we have for search obstacles? We have, let's see. Uh, we have the doggy door. Okay, kids suck to the volcano. Uh, we had the popcorn. We had the toothpaste. We had the soda jerk. We have ticket. Okay, kids just suck to everything this season, but still. Like, there was a lot of issues this season. Yeah, the, the ant farm slowed a lot of people down, even though it was the first time using it. Uh, next we get to the Orlando, which surprisingly has a lower win rate with only nine wins. And this one is also confirmed to have 40, despite a few other listings saying 45. Yeah, so... I'll go, I have the specials ranked on my phone. Let me find that. I think it's pinned. Let me find it. Yeah, I have it. Okay. So they decided to do special seasons. So we're not starting off well because of the Sunday slide thing. Uh, salute to Wake Martindale. This, this, well, technically the season is bookended by wins. I know, I'm saying. Yeah, like, right after that. Oh yeah, that's that big fail. Uh, okay, so this episode never re really ran on gas, and I think if people want to see the they made a gas stuff, me and Nick will discuss this in the video, but uh, there was an issue where they basically had to pump oil, like fill up his cup. Uh, the red team filled it up way before the blue team, but they didn't give it to the blue, the red team for some reason, and the red team pretty much got screwed the entire show. And they were the ones who uploaded it. Yep. Uh, the Pig Day, the worst episode. It was basically not really a theme. And again, it felt like nobody won because everyone just kept getting pity money. Uh, the closest sh we'll get to a shutout, aside from the Apaches. Like, the team barely got a question at the very end. The good news is we do have more teams breaking the 300 point barrier, but not many people won. Uh, we have the Harvey Day, which is a perfect example of of how to run a joke to the ground. I forget, was it his birthday or just, just dedicated to him? I don't know, just dedicate it. Um, high score, this episode had a little wager to it. Hey, what if we took the inside out and made there 27 balloons? That's basically what the thought process was for this. But arguably, it gets even worse in the next season. Um, and I put this, the stupid hat day, I actually really liked the episode. It's just that they got screwed by the stupid Inside Out. Uh, extremely abysmal obstacle course. Uh, the baseball episode I thought was kind of ant with the money. I do love Mark and Harvey switching roles during the obstacle course, where Mark actually announced made the episode kind of memorable. Uh, this team should have gotten five prizes. I don't care what anyone says. You put two search applicants back to back, they're, they were going to get screwed anyway. 
Uh, Be Kind of Animals was okay, but again, I felt like the wrong team won. Uh, this episode didn't air because they robbed them of the seventh prize for no reason. And then, oh, Breakfast Day, you uploaded that. This is probably my favorite, one of my favorite special episodes. Really that was the only time that they used the blue plate special, yeah. and thank God they found it immediately. Also, lies. This is not the 400th episode. It's the 391st. Yeah, um, this one's actually 400%. unique because we have no physical challenge to round two, and it's like really neck and neck. Uh, the curse day is kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah, because the it's not actually did Halloween. absolutely nothing, got money. Uh, the app, one of the worst freaking courses ever. And then, and then uh, they sadly one... couldn't air that. Yeah, due to legal issues. Yeah, they had all the international footage, and I think, yeah, you probably saw that other clip in the server where it had the different sewer shoot where the flag was on. I forget which one. Was it Germany or Dutch? I don't remember. But sure, and we do end on a high note with a really fun special. In fact, they used this one in, like, their Nick Rewind slime video. Yeah, also, day. this is literally the only time someone won a trip to Six Flags. If you're wondering, it's not the same Six Flags as Brain Surge. That's in California. They, they did the Six no, Flags. They did here. several. Think Fest did a similar thing. They did over Mid America, Magic Mountain, over Texas, and I'll give them credit. Money was a little bit higher, but again, considering that Think Fest was airing at this time. Where they're the common, the lowest amount for ear between 300 to 500 bucks. Yeah, you had some competition there. Also, the highest, most questions was 10. Literally, a team that didn't win ended up getting more. Uh, where would you put this? I'd say C, uh, maybe, because I do like the themes. Yeah, C as right well. Down. What the hell? Yeah, and I know, I know, it's almost all the wins. It was, uh, it was two. They were always, they were almost always duos, except for uh, unidentical twins. Uh, what I mean? Do you want to put this above? Like, where two. would you put this in C tier? Uh, C tier. I'm gonna say. Give me just a moment to open it. I'm gonna say I'm gonna put it, maybe in between New York. Okay, that's fair. Wait, let me resize this a bit. And it's, it's like very weird that this had only one standalone win in taping, and then the others were literally two each. Yeah, Um. next we get to a season that was good, but literally just went so far down the drain. And incidentally, this is the riskiest season for fans to upload. Yep. Um, so this season only has 20 win rate. Like, I need to show this on my doc real quick, so. Um, there were, out of 40 episodes, there were 8 teams that got, that won the car, 8 teams that got 7 prizes, 8 teams that got 5, and 4, 6 got 7, 7 teams got 6, and then 1 team got 2. Yeah, so this was literally, like, the most mixed course. Also, in my fails video... There was a total of 18 episodes. Literally half the frickin' season had something wrong. Yeah, and this was because they were always offering cars for grand prizes instead of vacations. I don't know why they were withholding cars that they were offering so many. I guess they were forced into a sponsorship with the Ford or something. The cars were cheaper than the ones on Fox. I'm pretty sure. I feel like it had to been some like, kind of for sponsor. Yeah. As you can see, this have the we literally have the broken scoreboard. Which yeah, the team, they literally screw the team. They're like, this team has so much money, we're not giving the car. Grease the frickin' Sunday slide as much as you can. And then the, literally the next episode we get the fastest course ever, and that's with the uh four tube sushi. Uh now we get the worst uh, the most controversial, the only shutout in Mark Summers, where I think it's probably basically 550 was basically the other team not um, doing well. 
Okay, so that's not bad at all. And also, the person literally, the flag slipped from her hand. Yeah, due to that stupid sushi gak. And, and it's, and I'm so glad they didn't put this one on iTunes because it would literally ruin the show's reputation. Um, yeah, let's just look at how other ones. We had to win a uh, Blue Play Special, Kick It, uh, Narrow Zero comeback. Uh, the Garbage Truck didn't work. Another Pick It. Let's just see how many bad ones there were. Slow on everything. Uh, the Celebrity episode where they basically got screwed because of the Pick It and the Volcano. Another, the same tape day with Doggy Door. The same tape day again in another curse day. Oh, and then... I don't care if this is now one we... side. This is my favorite episode. Yeah. And thank God, thank God we got the VHS copy of it. It's the one that was famously listed everywhere. Yeah, Hourglass. Literally in our four... Six, Doggy Door screwed them. Another four, another four, which, yeah, I don't even think I need to talk about that. Yeah, it's the only non-gas episode. That's all that we're going to say on that. The celebrity episode, yeah, like a bunch, literally three more in a row inside out. Yeah, Mark is late. This team came back in the episode so lost, and then the I love how on the Old Timers episode, the team only got freaking five. Yeah, but Mark was, they were deliberately slowing themselves down due to throwing the gack everywhere. I know what I'm saying, but still, the fact that they couldn't even beat it just shows how bad this rig the season was. Um, Do you want to talk about your opinion on the season? Yeah, I honestly think it's overhyped. I mean, Mark did have some good comments for the players. They had some good banter, but otherwise they were just saying a lot of dated stuff. Some of the games just weren't quite fair. A few of the questions were kind of weirdly worded, and and we already mentioned the obstacle course issues. Yeah. I think my favorite was the person who worked at Disney, and kids are like, we can get you a job here instead. And that was the same family which had the girl on, I think, the first I uh, Get the Picture Taped episode, and was also on uh, Welcome Freshman, I believe. Oh, incidentally, uh, the, the dad from a uh, uh, downhill racers was on Wheel of Fortune. Oh, nice. Um, yeah. Uh, is D tier fine? Yeah, D tier indeed. Yeah, we're not gonna put an F because the thing that makes season at least decent is the money earned. And after this, they took a huge hiatus, which was well over a year. Yeah, because Mark was doing what would you do around this? I'm trying to remember. Ninety was. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, Black, Black I Think Fast was before the studio opened. That was, like, very, very early 1990. And and they, and they this is also when Harvey was raising his first child. Yeah, 91, they were doing Get the Picture, uh, two seasons. Mark was doing What Would You Do? They were taping Nick Arcade at this time. Yeah, and then Gutch was area 92. So next we have the Better Family season. It starts off with the uh, specials with Clarissa Explains It All and NBA. Uh, Chuck has this episode online, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, you put this in the correct order. So, we have the very first ever tiebreaker ever used, which I didn't even know that. Yeah, and clearly they put only two of them on iTunes, yet we're glad we ch they chose the tiebreaker. Yeah, these two. Um. Yep. Uh, we have a team up gets below 400 bucks, which, yeah. It starts up pretty, and then we have one the, of the worst courses ever. We have the grandparents episode. Sadly, that's the only one that they did that, and the next episode was literally the only all-female team that won. Yeah, one of the worst things, uh, we have the smartest team on the show. Yep. Um. One all. Uh, our mic. Okay, yeah, um, still, you know what's sad about this? What? Uh, the Blue Bullets literally got a ton, a frick ton of money. They came back in the reboot, and they literally had the worst obstacle course run in history. 
yeah, that was it really was abysmal. And we were all so, almost close to winning this one too. Yep. Shark, uh, so and then a their family. Oh, this was like the best tape day, with the exception of this episode. Yes, I. And it's so ironic because they got the advantage of the Sunday slide by saving five seconds up the ladder. Yeah, because this team got the highest score. Um, This was the first Canadian team, which they technically got the second highest, and Blue Bullets got the third, but they didn't answer a lot of questions, sadly. Uh, the fastest team, which, yeah. Uh, the episode with the frickin' banana split fail. Yeah, they... Oh, but they put it on gas because they aired it on gas because the team won anyway. I mean, yeah. Painful loss. Then, okay, this is the episode with the missing prize team. plug. Oh. Double Daredevils. Uh, this garbage, no pun intended, they, that made the garbage truck worse. Yeah, they put extra gack in the thing, camouflaging the flag. Um, and we have the worst winning episode ever because... Basically, they want a toss up. Mark spends like six minutes explaining a challenge. They get a question, they win. Like, that's literally it. Uh, this one, Mark gave a thing. And then, ironically, we have the best celebrity episode. Which actually, you could technically count this as a tiebreaker because the final challenge was a tiebreaker thing. Yeah. The f so. I mentioned this before. Guess what the totals were in my stats. This episode Played only. On me. This episode only got a thousand seventy-five. And this episode got like a fourteen. Oh. And this episode got like a fourteen thirty, despite being a loss. <laughs> yeah, the highest by the way was Killer Towers with eighteen fifty. Uh, uh, even worse garbage truck. One of the most infamous episodes ever. That, uh, the wheelchair episode, uh, Nightmare 3.0, if you want to call it that. And, but the biggest appeal this whole season was what it was all leading up to, TOC. I'll just say this, like, I'm still surprised this episode got to air. Like, they gave them a third prize, but literally, like, come on. Like, you could have given the digital jitters the money, and you had... You were playing for the other kid, too, so it's like you basically just screwed them. Yeah, uh, the first episode, this has Doc Holliday announcing, by the way. Um, very crappy finale thing. Pre-finale. And then we have, uh, the Tournament of Champions, which is really good, though. It was a good way to end the season. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... They got they got not only Club Med but a Lincoln minivan. They also got a thousand bucks too. So, and I guess a fun fact about this: this is the only episode in Family Double Dare where we have no challenges in a round. Yeah, and also I'll show this on the screen on the game show win rates. You can tell the percentage is actually a lot better than the other one. Most of the yeah, teams got the five. season was. Most of the teams that got five, they were just ridiculously slow, so that was their fault. Uh, yeah, but that... You put this? I think it starts out kind of weak, but it gets a lot better. Yeah, I want to put it in A tier, because it was one they really wanted to take the season seriously, knowing it was their final one. Uh, I can be heard, right? Yes. Yeah, I wanted to put it in A. Yeah, I got you. Um, next is uh something that has this is in production or whatever, but yeah, something that's kind of contra. Let me stop the recording real quick. Cause we're like thirty minutes on this part. Hmm. Okay, it's not gonna matter for you viewers because it's literally edited together. But yeah, Delaware two thousand had was interesting to say the least. Yeah, that's just being polite, because there are a lot of issues that we uncovered during an interview with the new host. Uh, we'll cover a couple of them. First of all, 
I'll just say this. Re some replacement hosts, 90% of them aren't great. Or most of them. Like, let's take a look at a couple of them. Uh, I mentioned this in my video. Um, for Finders Keepers, I don't like Larry Toffer at all. He comes off more sarcastic and dickish. Like, if a kid, like, doesn't find the object, Wesley would actually, like, feel bad. But Larry literally is so stiff. He's like, it it's right here, okay? Didn't you see it? Like, making the kids feel like idiots, which you should never do on a kid sh on a game show. And so here's the weird thing. Like, when I film those, like, wacky Lost videos, I can basically just breeze through them film them. You know how I did that worst game show thing with, like, the Finders Keepers thing? Yeah. I didn't even watch the full episodes, and I literally went to strangle Larry after this, those four episodes. Because he kept repeating the same clue, like, 18 times. And it's like, you're not helping the kids by repeating the same clue 15 times. Like, are you that bored? You can't do anything else. You're just going to repeat yourself. Yeah. But in an oddly similar thing, there's like, there's sometimes they have bad show, but a good host. I mean, look at, uh, you're in. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is the but this is host. the real black um, team of Nick game shows. Yeah, uh, figure it out. I don't have an issue with summer. I think Jeff did a better job though. Um, I know people give flack to Skip Blackie. I think he's probably one along with Jeff is probably with at least for the '90s game shows. Skip's probably the most tolerable. I know people give him flack because he's like relying on cue cards, but when he tries, he at least is he does a good job. And then, I'm not going to go into the make the grade Rob Ever Morris, because that at least had, he at least had a reason not to be happy. Because he was immediately filming five episodes per day. And it was his first job. Uh, Jason Harris is just trying to be way too cocky. He's not as bad as, say, someone like Johnny Arcade, who rarely doesn't even act like a human half the time. But, like, yeah, he and he acts way too cocky half the time. And what makes this even more or even more unsettling is that he had no previous knowledge of the Double Dare franchise at all until his first day of taping. Yeah, that's not great. Um, so they introduced something called. I guess the only good thing I'll say about the season is we never had obstacle course lower than four. Thankfully, like let me. Sh what is the win rate on this? We got. Down here somewhere. It is okay. All the forty-one episodes there were. Okay, like twenty-one. It's around like matches like Orlando kind of. Okay, so it's about twenty-two so, percent. Yeah, so they introduced something called a triple dare challenge, which sounds like a good idea. I, but the problem is, it just went on for way too long. Like. Basically, how it worked was a physical challenge around two. You can be like, you can do it for two hundred bucks. We can make it a little bit harder. We'll we'll make it three hundred bucks, and you can get a bonus prize. Like for example, one of the things was like the pizza conveyor belt, where you had to like catch the pizzas in the box. And it's like, if you do this triple dare challenge, you'll have to add like an extra pizza or an extra topping, which is fine. But the issue is, sometimes it took, like, four minutes to explain. And then, if they went for the challenge, it took, like, six minutes. So, you only got one challenge around two. And if the team didn't even go for it, it's like, whatever. And you know what the issue with the challenge was half the time? Yeah. Teams would go for it when they were so... When they were, like, very close, like... Like, there are times... Let me find a loss real quick. Like, the team I mean, had $400, the other team had $150, you are $250 behind. Because the thing is, if you fail the challenge and it's the end of the show, no big deal, you still win. But teams would go for it when they were so close, and they would end up losing because of it. Like, my rule would be is, if you're $300 or more ahead, then go for it, because the one episode... They had six hundred the team at two seventy five. It didn't matter if they lost, but 
Yeah, and uh, I forget, are you for... And let's not forget the very first episode that they oh did. Oh my freaking god. Yeah, it so was I'll, Red I'll, show, I'll actually show the wiki page in a minute, but... Yeah, we'll see. Teams did well. We had a 675. This is actually the record, by the way, this season, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, we had teams do well. We had over 600. We had 850. Uh, the snow day thing. So many pipeline fails. It, they made it way yeah. too. They put way too much chocolate in it. Seven fifty. We had under four hundred. Sadly, uh, six hundred. We had the team at zero. Okay, I want to explain something stupid. So for some reason, on this episode, if you got under a hundred bucks, they would give you two hundred. But if you got a hundred, they wouldn't give you the two hundred. They fixed this in the second season, thankfully, but that was just really stupid. Yeah, um, no way they did that. I'm, um, also the last I'm hoping five that I'm hoping episodes. I'm hoping that for all the teams in the past, they were given they were mailed extra money and compensation for this. Do you think that might have happened? Maybe. Also, it also says widescreen, so they shot these episodes in HD in two thousand. You figure that one out. And instead of a trip, it was like a 34-inch TV, which apparently was worth $7,000. It, it better have had to have HBO. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way a trip... Because, like, how was the grand prize thing $10,000 when I think of the trip is like, $5,000? I don't get it. Well, it was... It, was it must have been a really expensive sponsorship with Sony. And I'm I pretty mean, sure these the were... next season... Th the same freaking TV was the seventh price, and it was like maybe a grand. And well, technically, a couple of teams did win a, a vacation on it. I believe it was Bush Gardens or SeaWorld, whatever it was. It was some random freaking prize. It was like some random thing. Only one team won the. Yeah, only one team won the TV. It was the No Challenges episode. Yeah, I put down the mistake in the one. Also, the biggest issue with this is round one was only seven minutes or eight minutes for some reason. I understand why they did that because they want to have more time for the challenge, but... Yeah, let me explain how the first episode... I will click on the page. So the Red Rockets get the do the toss if I get it wrong. The blue team does well. They win the challenge. They have 150. The red team wins a toss-up, they get it wrong. The blue team answers one right. They screw up the physical challenge, the other team wins. So basically, the red team won by doing absolutely nothing. No challenges, yeah, no questions, it, nothing. Incidentally, the same taping, the, another team won that low score, but they at least answered questions. Well, the team was sev had 750, the other team had 50, so... No, they had 375, the other team had 50, so... They lost the challenge, it didn't even matter. Yeah, like, this season's fun. I remember the season being okay. Just, it takes way too long to explain the physical challenge. Like, you know how I would explain it? Yeah. Yeah. Here's how I would do it. It's like, um, do you want to make the challenge more difficult? Um, yes or no? And they say yes. Or they would say, like, here's the challenge. If you want to make it more difficult, here's what you have to do. Like, you have to add an extra thing. Do you want to go for it? If they say yes, then show what the prize is. If they don't want to, then say, okay, fine. Because they spend so many times, like, teams didn't go for it. It's like you're just showing the thing anyway. You know what? Now that I think of it, the main search relied on editing their stuff rather than immediately timing everything and cutting the chase. I think it... Do you think for that reason, Brain Search was a good call to be edited? Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't want their, like, we're going to the 50 pointer. Oh, we're running out of time. We actually got to go right to the 100 pointer. It really wouldn't be fair to some players, would it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where do you want to put this? I think the season has potential. It's just that the host kind of sucks. I like the announcer. Tiffany's cool. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put it in, like, C. A solid C. 
I might put it above 88A because 88A already has so many freaking issues I discussed. Okay, that's fair. Why is this not working? Okay, we gotta... Let me make this smaller. This is what happens when we don't have a tier list, so I gotta do what I can. Uh, so I don't know where the hell we're gonna rank the second half of the season because we're missing three quarters of the episodes. I'm, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be lower. It's probable we might as well bookend the C tier with that. Yeah, because as you can see, the first half is fine, but like the highest is literally six fifty, and like half the episode we don't even have info on. We did get a great finale with both teams winning the course. Let me actually just put this real quick. Let me. I have an idea. Hmm. I'll just put unranked for now, and then when we get the footage, I'll show it. What the hell? But, yeah, I chose the double. Are uh, we still recording, by the way? Yeah, I chose double dog because the highest was literally six fifty, and this was literally the only episode. There was only two teams that had six fifty. I'm just saying, God damn it, this is so stupid to do. Why does it keep scrolling? There. Damn it, okay. Yeah, I see why this ran for only the standard 65 episodes. Well, technically 67, because each season had an additional one. Yeah. The weird thing is we have half of this of episode, course. but we don't have the second half. And I, and I still... I remember Jason said they realized they... Dick realized that game shows really weren't working anymore, so they just rely on animation, which is a partial reason why SpongeBob blew up right after Rugrats had its 10th anniversary. And incidentally, the only thing left to film in uh, the Orlando studio basically was Slime Time Live, but nobody really cares about that. Yeah, uh, next, we're going to get to the uh, reboot, which is it's pretty good. I'd say I like it. I mean, the first steps that we already have uh, extremely high scores, but. I want people to keep in mind they doubled the family total, so it was 50, 100, 200, and then 100, 200, 400. Yeah, so yeah, they were right about doubling the dollars. Yeah, we literally had another shutout episode, which is the celebrity one. Oh, I want to point out something unfortunate that had a downgrade in 2000. Yeah. Uh, the teams only got money. They didn't get any consolation prizes. So there was yeah. no hugs. And the thing that sucks Are is you, in Double Dare instead 2000... The extra instead the extra prizes were just given by sponsors at the very end of the show. And the problem is Double Dare 2000, I mean, the 2018, the losing team never actually got their money. They just got consolation prizes, which they didn't even bother editing. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, that was a common issue starting with 2000s because I know like the game of life and picture Rica they didn't they're just like the losing team's gonna get prizes but they don't feel like showing them yeah I'm trying to see which yeah we had I'm, a I'm confident that we're gonna exceed I'm confident that we're about to exceed the length of our other tier list I mean we're already like an, over an hour in so yeah uh we had a four couch searching we had this one uh, celebrity episode with Josh on it. Josh Server. Uh, another shutout episode, actually, the record this season. Oh, the Thunderman. Some of these obstacles were like really weird. Yeah, the Thunderman's one was also the episode, the season two episode with no challenges. I didn't even know that someone brought that up. We did have a team actually. We had a fifteen hundred. We actually had a team match the the Gakmeisters. Yeah. Kind of cool. Uh, there was two obstacle courses around McCain and Kel. Uh, the team sadly lost the end, and then they did very well. This was a double life episode, by the way, in case you're wondering about the high total. Yeah. Uh, this was the team that came back, the partic 
perpendicular partners. Perpendicular partners, yeah. And then this one, uh, another freaking syndication type episode for round two. Uh, this was, I believe, the musical Mowers for this team than the Blue Bullets who did extremely awful. Uh, the only time he had a 3v3 episode. And then, yeah, the season ended kind of very poorly with a god-awful Halloween special. Yeah, and then, we had a couple of no challenges. We had some decent teams. Yeah, and I put down some facts on here. People were curious. Yeah, I, th I honestly think they really did good reboot in episode. In fact, Nickelodeon promoted the reboot by re-airing the, uh, uh, what episode was it? It was the Elvis 88 episode. Yeah, and also the episode that had the tie with the Gackmeisters, um, Lysa's voice was actually, um, shot, so Mark actually ended up hosting the episode. So Mark actually went back to hosting. Yeah, that was the, yeah, that was the two of them. That was, a. Uh... And I, yeah, I remember, I think that was the, uh, that was not the first episode I saw. It was the one where they got three seconds left. I think I've seen but... a couple of the episodes when they aired. This season, because I remember we were moving down to Florida or something, when, and we saw, I saw a couple of the episodes at my grandparents' house. Yeah, a pretty good reboot, honestly. Even though it's syndication, I'd say it's fine. I would say A or B tier, surprisingly. That sounds odd. Low, but low A, because I think they actually put real dedication and money into this. Yeah, because, I mean, they really took... What the hell is wrong with this thing? Editor, this is where you shoot just... yourself and you hide to edit all this. So good luck. Damn it. This is just so weird. I mean, you had issues. All we have to do did... is just... When we did our figured out tier list, we also... I, I swear to God. Just put it on the frickin' list, and then we'll move it. For... There, we'll just move it around. Just rink it down. I mean, we also had issues when we did the other one, remember? I had your list. Yeah. That was very weird. I forgot the, how old that video Could is. Not... There we go. And then the second half of the season. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah this isn't the highest the, score, by the way. List, I'm called... surprised it got him. Sorry, what? Yeah, I'm still surprised that figured out tier list got over a thousand views. Really, people really did like that show. Yeah. Um, this isn't the highest <laughs> score, by the way. The highest score is 1,500, but one, two, three movie sucks, and they removed this from Paramount Plus the second season, so bear with me. I just... So this probably had one of the most confusing formats ever. So how they did this was day one, they did 4v4 with kids. Uh, the team that won, the next two episodes, they'd be teamed up with a celebrity, so it was just random, you know, standard. And then the final round was like the finalist, and they didn't even play for cash. It was for the first three episodes, it was five hundred each, and then thirty five hundred for the final one. So you played for five thousand, and then the final day was a thousand, and I think three thousand. So it was basically up to ten thousand dollars. So you just played for cash. And yeah, it was. Yeah, and and it had a very staggered airing schedule. It had like a week of February, then March, and then delayed to July, and then delayed all the way to December. Yeah, let me. Yeah, we had Kids Choice, which ended very, very poorly. Uh, WWE Week, which ironically, Interesting fact. which ironically had, I couldn't show this in my video because of copyright. We actually had someone tie the Fishers for the fastest time. Yeah, and uh, just a quick note, Isaac saw one of the tapings. Isaac from 220. He he didn't explicitly say which one, though. Yeah, I'm still surprised we had someone actually tie the frickin' Fishers. That's actually kind of insane. And then Spongebob week, we had decent. Halloween week was not great, and then... We had a decent uh, finale week, but 
Okay, let me see these. Okay. Yeah, I put down the tie thing, so. Let me actually, before we end, let me check the. Let me check the celebrities to see if we actually know any of these people that were in these episodes. Diana. Let's just scroll down, okay. Okay, so, okay, I know Roy, I know Roy, I know who he is, I don't know who that is, uh, two people I don't know, two more people I don't know. Vicky, Brie, Bella, nope. I know the New Day, I know They're well out of our generation. Uh, Drake Bell and Guava Juice, that's a decent pair. Don't know who these two are. I think I know Jason Sudeikis. And then we have no Nick Young, kind of. And then we got Sean White's the only one I know. Okay, apparently these episodes did have like celebrity cameos in them. Like some of them had like Tom Kenny, uh, Patrick was in there. You had a couple special people. Yeah. Drake yeah. Bell was on the one. You had Lori Beth Thinberg on one. For some of the challenges, I think. Nick Cannon was on one of them. Uh, Gabriel from all that. Yeah, but they all that the all that fans really love Double Dare. In fact, you might remember this. They did a, like a reunion special in 2016. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, where would we put this? It only got 20 episodes. Sadly, I think the tournament structure is. It makes sense. It's just very confusing. Like I don't know why they didn't. Like you know what they could have did. What could they have done? I know they want to do four episodes a week, but why not just do the prime normal round like they did before, and then just do a tournament of champions like thing? Yeah, I guess kind of like figure it out. They really they were hoping it would just be one season, but they were just really reluctant with the ratings and the finances. They just gave it a smaller second season. Also, they yeah they removed this episode this from iTunes for. Uh, Paramount Plus for some reason. This one I got from Daily Motion. It's on like third party sites, but like they removed the second season for some reason, but not the first season. Because that makes the most sense, because everyone wants to pay freaking thirty dollars for all the episodes when you can just pay twelve a month. Yeah. Uh, where do you want to put this this season? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say maybe... I haven't watched the season, so I have no idea. So, for those wondering, I haven't watched Double Dare 2000, the two reboots, or 92. So, really, so... I'm, I'm gonna say maybe... I'm gonna say maybe low B for, uh, 2019. Okay. Uh, I'm still a faith for... Yeah, I like how... Here's the final tier list, people. Uh, S, we have Fox in 87. A, we have Family 92 and the reboot. B, we have uh, 86 and... You said low B or low C? For this one. But for 2019, did you say low B or low C? Low B. Okay, I thought it was C. That's why I got confused. Yeah, okay, so we have 86, 88B, and the second half. C, we have 2000 so Just make sure it's can, it's visible on your stream, too. Yeah, uh, 2000... 2000A, 86, Orlando... I will say this, folks. If we yeah, because somehow it's, I get... think it's still show. Is it still showing? Uh, just the stats wiki instead of the tier list. Oh, sorry, my bad. Sorry, I'm yeah, done with the wiki. Scroll. Sorry. Yeah. So here's the list. I will. Okay, I will say this, folks. If we can somehow find the other, like the seven fifty and like the man in the boat, and they're good episodes, I might move this up a bit. I might move this past Orlando, maybe. 
It's staying here know. as of now, but considering if we could find the episode, we might shuffle it around. We don't we don't know how good episode four of Orlando was, but we know episode thirty, episode thirty nine of Orlando was seven out of eight. Yeah, uh, do we have? I know people are gonna be mad about this, but literally, it's fine. It's just the optical course where just got screwed. Yeah, because I will say overall, my least favorite. Favorite season is Philly, and I believe you said this is your least favorite, right? Uh huh. Yeah, I said in the past yeah. Philly was my least favorite. You said ninety was your least favorite, right? Correct. Yeah, I I give ninety a small pass because the money was high. Like yeah. And then we will put this in a tier once, like we get the episode, the rest of the episodes. We'll put this in a tier. Yep. Uh, yeah, but, uh, but but looking back, I think 2018 really was vindicated because they were actually putting real effort into it, and we got all the old fans coming back. Yeah, you also if had you think Mark about, Summers Larry announcing the damn thing, so... Just, just as a reminder, Double Dare re-ran regularly on, on Nickelodeon until mid-1999, so having an immediate reboot kind of kind of wasn't really that interesting. We... What was the... Most of the fans were just ambivalent by that point, but a reboot after 18 years, then that's what it made sense. Also, this is how you do a reboot. Don't do freaking Legends. Don't double the length for this episode and then put in half the effort. I know this is when COVID was happening, but good lord. And don't but, put but speaking of reboots, for God's sake. we hear that there's... Speaking it's of reboots, we're going to hear... Show. The reboots, Nick Arcade is allegedly coming back. We hope that's going to be good. Yeah, I know like, be- some of the other people, because I know, I guess on the one podcast, I know Skip said Think Fast could come back. Lou, I know Lou himself said, make the grade, because we already have Jeopardy, probably no, and he hated the fire drills due to them being complete garbage, so... Yeah, we we really hope reboots are done well, and of course, we want Brain Surge. Do 18 Jeff, plus and put some of us on here. Yeah, Jeff Jeff himself explicitly wants it, but, but who knows if Nickelodeon is willing to finance that because it was a big project for them. I will say one thing, though. If we're on, yeah. if th- we do episodes, we're on the show, do not put me on Jay's episode because I, I would lose. Hmm. Cause Jay is too good. Really is an all star. And so Double Dare really it is an amazing game show with its four hundred and eighty two originals, sixty seven two thousand and seventy one twenty eighteen. They really wanted to go all out with this franchise and they even played it at the Nick Hotel for all that time. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, check out Nickel's channel. He, what have you been uploading on your channel, sir? America's Funniest Home Videos duos, as well as little doodles every weekend. Um, for me, Skylanders is pretty much done filming. I just have one heroic, and then film with my brother, which I'm still debating if I should put that up or not, because I embarrass the hell out of myself. So yeah, uh, yeah. Basically, that's almost done. So I don't really have much to. I might finish commercials because I know two sixteen Nick Arcade. I don't have commercials of yet. Yeah, those aren't done yet. I'll get those done in the future. I'm just making random compilations because I am running low on content. <sighs> if I was, I made a video. If I would upload full episodes of the. Re- of the Rugrats reboot, I would, but I used only black and white snippets for my video essay, so I just want to be safe. I mean, the freaking record from the 2018, I literally put it in black and white in that video, and it literally still got blocked. Yeah, so... Yeah, uh, and, but I honestly think 2000 is the real black sheep because it got so much negative reception. Yeah, even though it was the first season I watched first. But 
Okay, we're like an hour and a half into this, so. Okay, just just very last question. What do you think was the very first episode of Mar with Mark that you saw? I think maybe Bandage, maybe the Raiders versus Mets, because I had, it was like an 86 episode, because I remember there was two red teams. Yeah, it's it's always their placeholder as the pilot, but they really did not like how that show started off. But then it grew into a big franchise. Still, did Mark know this would happen? But once again, I'm going to be seeing him uh, this Saturday, and I hope to ask him several questions about hey. everything. Uh, see you guys for the next video. I'll put a link to Nicholas' channel if you want to see his stuff. Yeah, thanks. I had fun.